Hello everyone, prepare to pray fervently and prepare to be blessed by the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman as he will be praying and prophesying over our lives. Let your heart be opened to receive. Feel free to comment, to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much and God bless you. This demon of lack and poverty, don't you let anyone preach you into embracing a life of financial struggles it is not the will of god it does not bring dignity to you it does not bring honor to god therefore i pray that everything sitting on your financial glory by the power of prophecy he said i'm by a prophet the lord god brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet where they preserved by the privilege of the election of grace anyone who is in any financial pit hear the word of the lord come out of that pit now 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 welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verse 130 the entrance of thy word is that life as you listen and watch may you experience the transformative power of god's life in job chapter 42 and verse 10 the bible says and the lord turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends and the lord gave job how many twice as much as he had before how did it happen verse 11 there came to him his brethren so it happens with men and all his sisters and they that had been of his acquaintance before if you ever experience favor god brought men and those men are still alive the bible says he brought them before hear me and they did eat bread with him in his house and they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the lord had brought upon him read the last verse if you believe and every man gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold whoever is holding what god has authorized to enter your hand in the name of jesus the son of the living god this week before sunday next week may it enter your hand in the name of jesus help them please this week i say it again before sunday seven days by the power of the prophetic may it enter your hand in a strange way please help that woman the prophet said by this time tomorrow and there was a foolish man who said even if god will open the windows of heaven might this happen and he said you will see it and not eat it in case you doubted what i said let me say it again open up your heart that in the next seven days from today by the spirit of prophecy i declare that everything that must enter your hand in the name of jesus the son of the living god and by the spirit of the lord that confirms everything he says in the name of jesus breakthroughs unlimited for you breakthroughs unlimited for you in the mighty name of jesus christ any family here whose glory has refused to be revealed if there is any force please help them in the name of jesus that will not allow the glory of any family to be revealed 
in the name of Jesus fire from heaven may it fall upon those altars fire from heaven may it fall upon those altars fire from heaven may it fall upon those altars and let me pray for everyone here who is being plagued by the devil the bible declares how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power he went about doing good healing all day that were oppressed of the devil the bible says for god was with him i decree and declare over your body over your life over your destiny satan take your hands off their destinies now take your hands off their health now take your hands off their finances now take your hands off their career now take your hands over the prophecy upon their lives now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus john chapter 1 and verse 5 and the light it says the light shineth in darkness even if a room has been dark for two weeks if you switch on light it will not take three days for the light to come up the room that has been dark for one year one week one day one hour will respond the same way when the light is on i don't know how long darkness has prevailed in your life but in the name of jesus let there be light over your destiny let there be light over every area of darkness let there be light over your finances let there be light over your spiritual work let there be light over your career let there be light over ministry let there be light over business in the name of jesus christ it says for your shame you shall receive double that where you have deserted so that no man would pass through you it says i will call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations therefore i declare whoever has been ignored and neglected i place an anointing upon your life in the name of jesus christ i place an anointing that will compel those who need you to find you and to honor you in the name of jesus christ listen these are not mere words believe me these words are creating something out of your life listen to me one man forgot to talk about joseph before pharaoh and he added two extra years to his life that one man's forgetfulness will extend the time of pain of another man whoever has forgotten you and has made prophecy to look delayed in the name of jesus this night by the power that raised christ from the dead we open the book of remembrance now 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 hallelujah paul said speaking to the church in thessalonica he said i desire to come to you even i paul once and again but satan hindered us there are many things that should come to god's people but have been hindered by the power of darkness any force standing your way any force that has vowed that god's prophetic word will not come to pass in the name of jesus may fire from heaven fall upon them may fire from heaven fall upon them may fire from heaven fall upon them in the name of jesus and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass as ye go ye shall not go empty whatever has made your hand empty by this oil of favor i mantle your life for increase i mantle your life for supplies i mantle your life by this oil for increase in the name of jesus christ
and for everything that should not have left your life but by whatever means it left your life like the bones scattered in the valley of Ezekiel I command those bones wherever they are those opportunities scattered those destiny helpers scattered I command a formation right now I command a financial formation a destiny formation a spiritual formation of those bones in the name of Jesus he said thou shalt be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord the mouth of the Lord himself shall bring everyone here called Ichabod whose yesterday seems better than your today I stand by the voice of prophecy and I declare restore 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 in the name of Jesus Christ he said he's put a new song in my mouth a song of praise to our God many will see and fear and put their trust in him for everyone who has said where is your God it's not you that will answer them may God himself answer them through the results that come in your life hallelujah every door you have tried to open and has refused to open a door is a symbol for access the authorized channel midwifing dimensions midwifing realms midwifing chapters are doors and every door that has refused to open to let you enter the next season of your life by the power of the Holy Spirit we not only open the door we break that door two more prayers if there is anyone here I just sense in my spirit that there are people who have been going through attacks seasons of attacks people in family attacks in dreams attacks in health attacks over your finances attacks in your place of work the spirit that is behind that attack we cause that spirit by the God of heaven Please help that lady. We cost that spirit now. We cost that spirit now. We cost that spirit in the name of Jesus. Sing it for me. Shalega para Another measure. Upon your life, upon your ministry, receive it in the name of Jesus. I impart that grace upon you in the name of Jesus. Barukata, skate pete kete kata pakatu kata, skepa kotoska, embreke de la kata, skate baranta skate, kebreke das kele kotos koto pakata, embreke te kotos kete le kata, skate baranta skate bereke tos, embreke te kete pakata kata, skoto barus kate de le kata pakata. Every force sitting on anyone's financial destiny right now in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead let that force be dislodged now 
be dislodged now. Be dislodged now. Master, we have toiled all night. Let me speak to someone here. Let, let the seasons of toiling walking like an elephant eating like an ant let it come to end in your life now let it come to end in your life now hear me everyone here who is in debt whether personal debt or business debt i prophesy by the god of heaven between now and the next three months by the road of the apostolic and the prophetic come out of that debt now come out of that debt now every business here that has refused to grow has refused to rise hear ye the word of the lord Makata bakatos kate barakatos, ebrekate katos kate lemas kamata. Be ten times better than you are. Hear me. There are many of us here. It's not like you are lacking food to eat, but you keep recycling the same financial level recycling you can't break out of it some of you have been on building projects for close to 10 years to finish it and move your family is not there by the power of the prophetic i push you to the next level of your destiny i push you to the next level of your finances hear me i tell you fire is falling there are families here that love the lord with all their hearts but nobody has risen financially in that family for whatever reason if you belong to that family right now i'm speaking to you because the power of god is coming upon you i decree and declare anyone here who is part of any family where the circle is just poverty lack and hardship i declare may that cause be broken now may that cause be broken now every ministry here that is struggling financially following online you are a man of god your church your ministry is struggling financially up today and down tomorrow in the name of jesus christ come out of that shame and reproach now i want to pray for you the lord is ministering to me that there are people it's not like you are poor but all your resources are hanging everywhere you keep watching resources that are supposed to have come but it does not come wherever it is manis kadi balaka toskiata paragata bashkata ebreketaski abata in the name of jesus i decree and declare i command those resources to come to you now come to you now come to you now hear me there are some of you you were part of the lifting of many people but they forgot you that is the reason why you are where you are it's not that you are lazy you've been part of many people's rising but now they've left you where you are in the name of jesus i pray the destiny helper assigned to wipe your tears hold your hands and lift you wherever they are this week i command them to appear before your destiny Appear before your destiny. All those.
Ghost trusting God for jobs, trusting God to start businesses, trusting God for any value adding structure. In the name of Jesus, I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, beginning from this week, let there be testimonies. And anyone sitting on your glory, your financial glory, I overturn, I overturn, I overturn, I overturn, I overturn, I overturn until you sit on your rightful place. Hear me. There are many of you as you go to sleep tonight, God will open up to you visions and he will tell you what to do. Believe me, as you go to bed, God will show you what to do. Hear me. There are some of you here because of the urgency of the situation in your life a fish does not carry coin but when there is need to pay tax god can make even a fish to bring coin i pray for you from the most unexpected means may the resources to take away shame from your life may it appear in the name of jesus now hear me I speak over every sacrifice many of you are making profound sacrifices only God knows what you are doing individuals businesses ministries couple children young old organizations but I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead the same way fire came upon the sacrifice of Elijah in the name of Jesus may fire rest on your sacrifice hear me for some of you what you sold is for the next level of your promotion and I really mean what I'm saying for some of you what you sold is for the next level of your political destiny some of you what you sold is for the next level of your destiny whatever has died in your hand hear the word of the lord let it come back to life now hear me if you have never experienced an individual calling you to say i want to help you i release that mantle on you now 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 inside outside online receive that grace right now please hear me hear me I am not praying for you for someone to just come and help you once I'm praying for someone who will build a system around your life hallelujah please hear me if there is anyone who has victimized you financially either based on tribal sentiments based on religion based on political affiliation or whatever it is right now i lose those chains of you go forward 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 I want you to watch the marvelous testimonies of strange financial miracles you are going to be hearing in the name of Jesus Christ can I be honest with you for some of you you will be sitting in your home someone will bring the key to a house and say take I speak this by the unction of heaven for some of you will be sitting and someone will bring a car and say God instructed me to give you hear me for some of you someone will come and meet you and say god said i should raise your children till university there is an anointing that comes upon a man that can attract opportunities that can attract people 
that can attract resources i taught you last week if you want to pick nails from the ground here you don't pick them one by one you pass a magnet around them and it will pick everything some of you that's what you are about to become right now <laughs> hear me some of you your helpers are already in koinonia they are in this place right now <laughs> now therefore as i have received from the fathers of faith this is a relay this grace was passed it is not something we invented as i have really as i've received from the fathers and by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic this grace that mysteriously attracts resources attracts men attracts opportunity in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god koinonia take that grace now let that grace come on your head now let that grace come on your business now take that grace now take that mantle now be blessed be blessed be blessed and hear me any power that fights your prosperity from today in the name of jesus that power goes down before your face and any man who says over his dead body for this prophetic word to come to pass may the ground open and swallow them may the ground open and swallow them every yoke every enchantment every activity of witchcraft negative patterns i break it now the power to get wealth there is such a thing as the power to get wealth but thou shall remember the lord thy god for it is he that giveth thee the power some version said the ability to produce wealth the power to get wealth listen there are ideas that produce wealth there is your value that you turn to products and services and sell it to a targeted consumer base to produce wealth but there is the power to prosper the power to get wealth most people have not encountered the power to get wealth most people have ideas that produce wealth most people have skills that produce wealth but you are like that fridge with no light you are like a television that can show different channels but no light more than your skills and beyond your skills it takes the power of the holy spirit why am i telling you this because this is what is going to land on your life this night apostle i have a shop but no customers what is wrong absence of power not absence of products there are clearly products there and it is true that your products are needed there are more than enough people for someone to come there but it takes power the gentleman who said he had a dream he had been building and it got to i think zinking or somewhere linter level and it stopped there for a long time the spirit that brings you close to it and yet you never truly actualize it the power to get wealth god is able to bring power god is able to increase people and then let me tell you this one of the assignments of the power to get wealth number one it is a supernatural empowerment that comes upon you and it will draw people it will draw opportunities and it will draw resources to you but you see the power to get wealth is also the power that opens your eyes to see there is a relationship between prosperity and your sight hear what i'm telling you i want to reveal a mystery for you 
if your eye is blind you will be poor it says lift up your eyes and see as far as your eyes can see isaiah 45 verse 3 isaiah 45 verse 3 tonight's miracle service was made for you and i will give thee the treasures of darkness question there are treasures but the problem is that they are in a place where there is no light how do you now know that they are there if you do not have the power to see you can pass it and not know if i drop a bundle of money here cash and i off the light and make sure this place is dark you can keep pushing it as many times and yet not see i will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that i the lord which calleth thee by name i am the god of israel the treasures of darkness do you know why god put darkness there so that no one else will see it until the person appointed the treasures of darkness some of you by reason of this impartation you will pass a land you have been looking every day and this time around you say i'm seeing something that no one else is seeing every major business today you see believe me when i tell you it was a treasure in darkness it was always there but the eyes to see the eyes to see the eyes to see the eyes to see if your eye is blind you will stand and weary yourself at the gates of prosperity and not be able to see can i tell you if everybody see what you are seeing they can't reward you for it there is nothing unique when everybody is seeing you can't clap for me for seeing what you are seeing no but if i am seeing what you are not seeing and i can bring it out and make it visible to you then you have to reward me for reaching into darkness with that light the power to prosper can place something on your destiny and you start seeing in a desert you will see an oasis there because the veil has been taken away from your eyes please listen to me most of us continue to pass wealth every day but because of the blindness of our sight you can sit down and with the eyes to see god can reveal secrets to you and in one moment look at that gentleman for god's sake he found out that nothing else was working in his life didn't go to school didn't do anything and he just felt lord what will i what can i do and he went to the field do you know there are many football fields he would have gone to the one where his destiny helper is not he would still be playing football but it takes the eyes to see listen when i pray this prayer you will know who to not relate with and who to relate with because there is jonah and there is jesus beware of who is on your boat don't carry jonah in the in a bit to look for jesus listen carefully you need the seeing eyes businessmen listen to me without the seeing eyes everything looks like white from a distance it's until it comes close you say ah no this is black the seeing eyes satan always comes as an angel of light there are some of you the financial troubles you got into in your life is because of blindness you thought it was this and found out it was not the power to prosper corrects your vision so that you are able to see why am i taking out time to tell you this so that when we start praying you don't just fall and stand for nothing you know what you are receiving the financial testimonies that will arise from tonight's miracle service will bring glory to the name of the lord can i tell you this hear me i'm saying this prophetically you will hear testimonies of nobodies people who as they are standing here they are still surprised by themselves say what has brought me to this realm products of prophecy Do you believe what I'm telling you? Yes, sir. 
the power to prosper man of god listen to me if you have the power to heal and the power to do all of these things if there is no power to prosper on your ministry you are going to compromise it's only a matter of time i assure you no matter how much a man of integrity you are the bills of ministry will squeeze you to a point where you will get into things that are not godly there are many people who started well but financial pressure pushed them remember i've taught you the scripture every time there is hunger israel will go to egypt to look for food when satan wants to take you to egypt he uses hunger because when there is hunger you will leave the place of covenant and promise to a place of compromise in search for food many people have sold their hands today you see all these are young people who are doing money rituals all around some of those boys were born from christian families don't downplay the hunger of people to feel like their life is making meaning nobody will sit down and keep growing older and their lives at least financially is not making meaning they will join groups they will join all kinds of things ah somebody needs to arise oh somebody needs to arise you you need to be angry you need to be angry you need to be angry angry at your current level in one minute just pray in the spirit i will see continue but just pray in one minute in the spirit in the name of jesus hallelujah hear me brothers and sisters remember sir isaac newton taught us that anybody will remain in a state of rest or uniform motion it will remain there for as long as it is kept there except compelled by an external force to act otherwise that means your destiny will remain where it is until a force from heaven comes to push it listen i came tonight as a prophetic midwife to tell you where you have stand is enough is enough it's time for you to move for god's sake it is enough in the name of jesus christ arise from these ashes it's time for you to fly like the eagle that you are micah 2 10 give it to us please ah. micah chapter 2 and verse 10 this is a prophetic word for someone it just came to my spirit now read it from the depth of your heart are you ready one to read arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction if you remain at that level it will destroy you arise it is not your rest this is not your place you are an eagle stop dwelling around with chickens in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray this scripture in one minute lord i arise i arise it's time to arise this is not my rest i arise i depart from this level I arise in the name of Jesus spiritually I arise financially I arise as touching the greatness that you have placed upon my spirit I arise someone pray this is not my rest this is not my rest I refuse to settle for less man of God pray thank God for what God has done so find your ministry but this is not your rest evangelist pray this is not your rest prophet pray politician pray this is not your rest professional pray this is not your rest please 
please pray. This is a miracle service. You have prayed yourself to a new level. This is not my rest. In business, this is not my rest. As touching the call of God, what I saw in my vision is yet to happen physically. I will give him no rest because this is not my rest. Financially, this is not your rest. Listen to me. Please listen. Listen. Look up, everybody. What does it take to live where you are to the next level? On the part of God, power. On your part, anger and hunger. Two things. Anger and hunger are required ingredients to break through your current season. If you are not angry enough, you will remain there giving excuses and if you are not hungry enough you cannot be filled man of god you will remain at that level of your anointing praying for 100 people and having only one person getting healed it won't work that way the nations won't place a demand upon you that way that is the honest truth professional uh -uh. not at that level someone is going to pray father i am tired of this level i am both angry at this level thank you for this level but lord i know that i am overdue when a baby stays more than nine months in his mother's womb he calls for concern when a baby stays in his mother's womb if it is before nine months that's fine the baby has to be patient but above nine months doctors will tell us there is a problem lift your voice and pray Bring a performance of God at another level. Bring a performance in ministry. Bring a performance in family. Bring a performance in my finances. Bring a performance in my destiny. Empowerment from heaven. The grace that turns dreams to their reality. Outside are you praying? Inside are you praying? Shata branda gata katos koto prash, ella kata branda zagatish kali katos kasine kata, manda praka tosh koto plasi gata breskiya. of the Holy Ghost coming upon your life hallelujah hallelujah please listen when God answers your prayer how does he answer it by giving you power God answers prayer by sending power the power that turns that desire to its reality now listen i'm going to pray on your prayer request but before i start ministry you are going to pray on it by yourself and declare that lord in this season this and that and that make your request known as you pray
please do not keep quiet and don't say God cannot do it all don't entertain unbelief you don't have to lift it up even if it's written somewhere you just begin to pray mention everything by name father it is within your power to make great it is within your power to prosper it is within your power to lift Someone pray. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Listen carefully, please. In the name of Jesus. Can I tell you? I know definite times in my life where certain levels of empowerment came and I knew the change when we started this work you see and I say this with every sense of responsibility and humility as at the time this work started this thing called the power to get wealth was not there there were ideas I was reading materials and learning because I knew that doing ministry with integrity will need resources and I didn't want to go around inconveniencing people every day. God's people will give, but church can't be about money every time. And then you can't be demanding money from people and not release the grace that empowers them. Do you know, let me tell you, when the anointing of God rests upon people who truly love you and they are blessed, you don't even have to ask them for anything. They will be too grateful to live. They will never allow you to beg for tea and bread. Not within there are people who have the hearts to give listen something is about to fall here right now that's why i wanted to listen i remember praying and studying i had learned principles and a day came i had to study the life of abraham david and study these people i said i found a missing link i was already anointed though but just because you have the anointing is not like a general purpose tool uh -uh. The anointing is assignment specific the anointing for prosperity will not bring healing no their allocations are different you can have a first aid box with many drugs they are all called drugs you cannot carry the drug for high blood pressure and swallow it for headache you are causing trouble the design they are all drugs you go to a doctor a professional and he will diagnose you oh you have malaria he will give you the drugs for malaria even if you have malaria and another sickness most times doctors will choose which one to treat first when you are fine they will change the drug and treat the other thing many of you have received many impartations you can know the one that is missing this night don't keep quiet but as far as god spoke to me oh this issue of the power to prosper i've done teachings on prosperity many of you have given but I want you to be angry. Know that God is able to help men. You are Ebenezer. Ah. You are Ebenezer. This I know about the helper of men. You are Ebenezer. You are Ebenezer. Listen, you are Ebenezer, the lifter of men. You are Ebenezer. God can help men stop struggling alone. You are Ebenezer. You
I remember praying and crying to God and say, Lord, this work is enormous. The apostolic and the prophetic ministry requires a lot. Let this grace, for God's sake, come upon my life and also come upon this vision. The power to prosper can be on you as a man of God and not be on your ministry. You will prosper while the ministry suffers. The power to prosper can be on the ministry and not on you. The ministry will prosper and leave you to suffer and you will start compromising. Can I tell you this? When that grace came, with all due respect and honor to Jesus, I knew it has come to stay. The Bible says, listen, it says on the day of Pentecost, all of a sudden they saw what looked like cloven tongues and it came and rested or sat it didn't visit and go back there are graces that can sit and rest on you when it stays on you that is it i submit to you with all humility every devil and every principality from hell knows that this is a ministry god has helped The ministry is not the building the ministry is you and you must answer that name this night in the name of Jesus Christ it does not matter what spirit of poverty has tied down people in your family you saw people educated to PhD but they could not build a single house that is a wicked spirit when your level of intellectual investment does not match your financial rewards, something is wrong with that equation. And then number two, we are going to pray that God will move us. Do you know, let me tell you this. Any sincere man of God who loves his people, your greatest joy is not your personal testimony. If someone buys me a car today or buys me a plane or builds me a house, thank God for all of that. But that is not really the testimony I'll come and share here. My greatest joy today is to sit down and hear people saying, I came from a family with nothing, serving idols, and now I am on fire for Jesus, loving Jesus, and see what God has done. That's right. Now, that's a testimony. You must be a wicked leader to rejoice over your results as above and against the people God has sent you to. The real joy of a leader is not his personal testimony. But to know that God's people are growing in leaps and bounds. Can I tell you, man of God, this may be a secret for you to learn. When there are genuine testimonies, not stage managed, not exaggerated genuine workings of god's power in your ministry it is impossible for that ministry to be empty lord lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven stable land a higher place than i have found Lord plants my feet on higher ground. The last prayer, and then it will be a very quick one in this place tonight. Father, I vow that as you cause me to be great, it will not distract my work with you. Rather, it will give me an opportunity to serve your purposes. Lift up your voice and pray that sincere prayer. Someone is praying. Pray and let my God surprise you tonight. Pray and let the one who backs us up surprise you tonight. Lord, that my greatness will not be an interruption to my spiritual life. It will not be an interruption to my love and my fire for you. That is usually the condition. If the nations will see him through your greatness, if the nations will know him through your greatness, then there is no limit to what he can do. If that greatness will not bring pride, arrogance,
Hallelujah. I wish I had the liberty to share some of my testimonies. But sometimes we live in a world where people misunderstand everything men of God say. Once you say A, people will say you said A to Z. And it, it turns out to not even edify people again. But I will tell you one or two. Listen carefully. I remember a time when a real estate company came and met me and they said sir god gave us an instruction that everywhere on earth we build an estate that will build a house for you it's our covenant with god anywhere on earth across the globe for as long as this company exists just know that anywhere you see us building an estate i don't know how many estates they have built now across the world if if you tell me the power to prosper does not work think again hallelujah i remember a company of wealthy people who came and met me and said apostle god said we should make you a non-executive board member of this company what for what do you people do this and that and that and that this is the instruction god gave so what will be my contribution to your company that spiritual advantage you represent the ark of God to our business I'm sorry oh I'm sorry you see this is why sometimes some it's good to say certain things to just help you know that the man standing before you here is not talking nonsense let me tell you if you think this is just a preacher's talk motivating you think again I submit to you with all humility what it takes to run Koinon, one koinonia service is what many people may use for conferences believe me when i tell you what it takes to run one koinonia service you've never seen anybody come here to cry to manipulate to say this and that you see when god sends a word to jacob he lights upon israel we are not the inventors of these things we also received it from the carriers he said go to them that sell and buy hallelujah our world today only wants people to brag once you are bragging and making noise doing a lot of things aha uh -huh. but once you are modest and humble and you live your life with modesty sometimes we say these things not to attract conflict That every devil in hell knows that till Jesus comes this ministry will not know poverty just believe me when I tell you no 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 it's not a prayer point I'm telling you what has happened it will only be from glory to glory it's not pride please I'm sorry if it looks like I'm arrogant I'm only describing for you what must start happening in your life from this night apostle i'm coming from a background where nobody knows me apostle right now as i'm standing here i'm in debt of one billion five hundred million fine rest you are not the first to get into debt please there are people who have been into debt of billions of dollars and god brought them out find rest can i tell you for anyone who is owing here business is not what you use to solve debt prophecy go and read your bible every time you are in debt let me save you trouble it's not doing another business that will bring you out it is the power of prophecy alas master for it was borrowed we are here for you come and do what you do we are here for you come and do what you do Set our hearts on you, so you do what to do. We need a move. Hallelujah. At the count of three, we are going to pray. In fact, please, my people, hold your hands. Let me start with you people. This is my dear leaders. Look at me. 
in the name of Jesus may this power to prosper come on you take that grace right now in the name of Jesus Christ by the power that raised Christ from the dead I release you to strange dimensions of prosperity and increase that people will arise and begin to help you in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus be shifted to a new level mysterious dimensions of kingdom wealth even by the power of God now I decree and declare at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus please bring those under the anointing some of you come from families where nobody has risen my God is about to lift you are you ready now father may this anointing this man to come upon your people please bring them out at the count of three one two three shout Jesus take that grace now take that grace now bring them out please take that grace now I lift you by prophecy from where you are I shift you to a new season please help those my God please whether you're an usher or not just help the ushers we have to hurry up now someone's life is changing I don't care what financial situation by the power that raised Christ from the dead such as I have give I unto you step into a new season of prosperity open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray Lord you are changing my life changing my story please bring them out very quickly let's hurry up if you can as many as you can if you can't bring them out that's all right but we have to hurry up someone pray don't wait till you fall under the anointing open your mouth and begin to pray a renaissance of financial possibilities from your lowly estate my God is lifting you hallelujah where's Jimmy please arrange for him to come and sing that song the lifter of men just the chorus David Dam, you help whether it's a guitar or whatever if the keyboardist cannot play let someone help him very quickly please please bring them out quickly out my god something is breaking out here outside inside those following from any nation the power of god to lift and to prosper is resting upon you Hear me hear me some of you by reason of this anointing I'm seeing at least 13 people at least 13 people at least 13 people your destiny is not even in this country this is what I'm seeing as God is showing me right now that anointing is going to come upon you don't ask me how it will happen Parande shekete balata. I relocate you now by prophecy go to your place of prophecy Go to your place of destiny. I pick you up at Tatoskata from where you are. The land where you must prosper. May my God take you there now. May my God take you there now. I will hold on through the storm Yes, I will hold on through the world My life will soon be Your destiny is not here, I'm saying it again Anyone here, which 
whichever nation and whichever region where your prosperity is tied, I shift you by prophecy. Go to that region now. I release you. Let the limitations leave you now. Can I tell you this? It is a dangerous thing to be in a place and there are people who are watching me you are outside this nation but your destiny is in this nation you are roaming around across the globe and finding out that even when you go to a place of plenty there is no peace because you must be in your assigned place i relocate you back to your place of assignment can i tell you this hear me hear me All through my time of ministry I'd been in Zaria I'd become so emotionally connected there but I knew when the season was done for my assignment there it was a very difficult thing but I knew that if I do not move where God is moving as far as my assignment is concerned some of you this is the simple key you came to receive you can be roaming about there are some of you want to travel abroad is not in the blueprint of your destiny you may visit and come back but just because you hear that people are roaming around there are still people suffering in every nation don't just emotionally enter the plane and go and die my life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men lifter of men i will hold on now hear me i want to pray for those who are in any kind of financial trouble watch the power of prophecy bring you out of any financial situation hear me there are people some of you are owing some of you made careless business decisions and as it is right now it is only the god of heaven who can lift you i prayed for your spiritual life and i'll pray again but this night we want to deal with these things some of you are under corporate debt you may not be the individual in trouble but you are under corporate debt your organization is owing all kinds to the millions and billions god can help men can i pray for you father in the name of jesus christ by this anointing anyone here who is in any kind of debt or financial situation personally corporately ministries that are owing and are in trouble businesses that are owing and are in trouble individuals that are owing and are in trouble in the name of jesus christ come out of that debt now Come out of that debt now by the ministry of destiny help us come out of that debt now hallelujah there are spirits that have moved from family to family ensuring everybody remains poor a family of everyone educated nobody working everyone educated nobody the highest salary may be 20,000 yes we are grateful but that cannot be enough now I want to pray fire will come upon you God is going to set you free because there are many hear me your salvation tonight is not just for you alone it's for your family members there are many of you I decree and declare any family here under a spiritual yoke maybe something happened in time past and a cause or a pronouncement was made over your family that keeps recycling poverty and financial struggles right now at the count of three please bring them under the anointing as you shout jesus that altar will catch fire now please bring them out are you ready one two three shout jesus I break financial yokes.
please bring them out. I break financial yokes. Every spirit recycling patterns of poverty. Every spirit. Whether you are an usher or not, please help us under the anointing. Every spirit outside, inside, following online, responsible for lack and poverty and want as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the blood of the eternal covenant we set you free tonight 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 open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray I release myself from every embargo someone pray I decree and declare a prophetic release every embargo every yoke he tied down my father he tied down my grandfather he tied down wicked people i am a righteous man in christ and i decree and declare that by the blood of the eternal covenant i appropriate my healing and my deliverance One more minute you are praying. I break free from this embargo. I break free from this embargo. I break free from this embargo. I break free. Financial embargo, I cost you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look up. By the privilege of God's grace, I've had the honor of meeting and learning from extremely wealthy people. Extremely wealthy people. I am not in ignorance. I submit to you by the privilege of God's grace as to the financial principles and the systems that make for the blessing. This prayer and this miracle service is by no means excusing your your fortitude to comply with financial principles that bless you but let me tell you something and let me teach you something there are only two ways financial resources will enter your life only two ways number one value that is exchanged number two favor that is it there is no other way financial resources will enter your pocket your value packaged and turned into products and services garnished with excellence and serve to a a targeted consumer base that's what you call business that is one dimension but then the other is called favor i want to show you how god restored job job 42 verse 10 my life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men the lifter of men I will hold on through the storm. This is for someone. I will hold on through the rain. My life will soon reveal. You are the lifter of men. Lifter of Sing it one more time as a prophecy. That I will hold on through the storm. Ah. I will hold on to the bed. My life will soon reveal. You are the lifter of men. The lifter of men. Can I tell you this? There is no one here under the sound of my voice, or will there ever be, whose situation is worse than that of Job. Let me show you what God can do. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had thank God for that but we want to know how it happened are you ready next verse verse 11 <laughs> read with me if you're a Christian one to read hold on hold on hold on are you seeing how God restored him number one then came to him all his brethren every next level and finances you are trusting god for is in the hands of men 
until the men come you cannot get what is in their hands it says then there came unto him where were they when he was crying the bible says god turned so how does god turn he places something upon your life that will start compelling people to start coming there came unto him his brethren and all his sisters and they that had been of his acquaintance before they were the ones that made him prosper before that means how did poverty come to his life something was taken away from him and everybody left physically how did god restore it something came i'm i'm showing you because it's something is about to come on you now please read it are you ready one to read then came there unto him all his brethren uh -huh, and all his sisters and they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house and they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the lord had brought upon him now here's the secret read and every man how many men there is something that comes on you that makes every man bless you not just those who do business with you every man every man read on please want to go every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold can i tell you this some of you have gone through serious financial hardship god organized this miracle service to bring financial healing to bring financial deliverance and i'm showing you how it happened because we are going to pray now i've taught you the ministry of destiny help us these are men anointed commissioned by god to pay attention to your destiny not everyone is a destroyer there are people who can enter your life like they enter the life of that my gentleman and turn his life around who would have told him that a year before or two years before there were people in that football field before he came it is what is on you that controls what is around you every man gave him a piece of money every man gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold father who have you anointed in this season to hold my hands and move me to the next financial level i declare place the grace upon my life that will bring them to my destiny open your mouth and pray place that grace this is a miracle service make sure you are praying place that grace upon my life oh god that will compel the helpers of my destiny to attend to me place that grace upon my life forget about where you have been pray pray i will hold on through the storm i will hold on to your word my story is about to change you are the lifter of men the lifter of men lord i will hold on to the storm I will hold on to your word My life will soon reveal You are the lifter of men Hear me, believers, in the name of Jesus Please listen to me I submit to you by God That there are more than enough people in any city to be used by god to lift you nobody will come and lift you on their own 
I've told you this. There is the power that rests upon your head. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. In this kingdom, who hates you does not matter. But who likes you matters. Please place your hand on your head. Just place your hand on your head. Father, this is a miracle service where you are sorting people financially once and for all. My God and my King, upon every head, right here, inside, all the overflows, outside, I am praying, Parakoskia. Lord, the grace that must rest upon them, that will compel the helpers of destiny, to gravitate towards them in the name of Jesus may that anointing rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now in the name of Jesus hallelujah as we begin to pray I will rebuke the spirit of poverty the spirit of poverty is a spirit that is assigned to individuals. The assignment, watch this. The assignment of the spirit of poverty is to study the extent of your ignorance and to build systems around your ignorance that stop you from making financial progress. Let me repeat. The assignment of the spirit of poverty is to study the level of your ignorance. The Bible says no weapon fashioned against us. Weapons are fashioned. Are we together? So when the devil comes sending the spirit of poverty, he does not just attack because poverty like prosperity is, is an effect. It's not a cause. So it doesn't make sense to say Satan stop finances to come to you. It's a, ref it's a reaction. What he does is to study your whole financial understanding or otherwise. And he now begins to build systems either through pride or through laziness. Are we together? Or stopping you from having strategic relationships. Everything that can be designed to stop you from accessing the keys that bring you out that is the assignment of the spirit of poverty it now becomes a stronghold upon your mind and upon your destiny making the word of god of non-effect so when you are bringing deliverance to an individual preaching deliverance what you are doing is opening their eyes to see but that influence is still there this is where the assignment of the power of god comes to dislodge that spirit influence this is what you call generational causes this is what you call familiar spirits they and you know because listen spirits don't die so you can think that because your father is 70 80 or you are 40 30 20 those spirits do not feel the effect of the longevity of time they stay there and they remain until a savior arises father in the name of jesus i decree and declare you gave me this instruction to bring this prophetic word as a deliverance in the name of jesus i decree and declare that mantle and that grace that makes for wealth that took ordinary people in scripture and even ordinary people in our day to day and has exalted them bringing beauty for ashes and joy for mourning i decree and declare may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now rest upon your business rest upon your ministry rest upon your household rest upon your career in the name of jesus christ by reason of this grace i speak prophetically over you that everything that represents the shame and the reproach connected to poverty I declare that it dies over your life now. Every family here that has never experienced genuine prosperity is always from poverty to poverty. You saw those before you, you saw your parents, some of you right now, and you're about transferring the same to your children. In the name of Jesus, may this anointing intercept that progression. 
intercept that progression in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren it was not always so every failed business here every dead or dying business I decree and declare may help us show up and lift you back may help us show up and lift you back in the name of Jesus Christ hear me one of the assignments of the spirit of poverty I will discuss that when we take the financial series proper but one of the assignments of the spirit of poverty please listen to me is to make you run into debt one of the major strategies of crippling your finances is to make you get into debt now i know from an economic standpoint there is good debt there's bad debt they say there is good debt that can be used as a leverage you know and bad debt for fueling consumption i'm not downplaying your knowledge that is important according to your faith but let me tell you the most superior ways to not be in debt for the bible says oh no man nothing but love it is a possibility according to your faith you believe in that no problem the wisdom to manage whatever you receive now i'm speaking largely personally i know that corporately many times people would need help from institutions to execute large projects that is corporate i'm talking about there is no reason why you should get into debt personally it's a terrible thing because let me tell you what happens this spirit constrains you and then it forces you to start borrowing money until it becomes an addiction and every time you borrow money it will schedule activities to make sure that money was never used for the reason why it was borrowed so interest begins to pile up while there is no achievement that should bring you that profit there are many churches today that are in debt there are many supposed wealthy people today that are in debt there are many you are not free if you are in debt because it sustains the ability to stop you from sleeping the moment you have abundance plus time plus peace you are truly wealthy these three things must happen for wealth to be established if the only thing you have is abundance of financial resources even if you have systems the goal of these systems is to allow you the time and then peace resources time peace that is kingdom wealth that is true financial dominion that tripartite coexistence of wealth time and peace because these are the three most expensive commodities if you lose time and peace whatever else you got by losing them was a bad bargain are we together praise the name of the lord so the spirit of poverty has made many of us, some of us right now probably are in debt of thousands, millions, billions, and you want to get into more. No. Every time people got into debt from scripture, it was the prophetic that brought them out. The prophetic is mandated with the responsibility of rescue, particularly from financial debt. Alas, master, it was borrowed. It was prophecy that brought it out. The woman who was owing you know the prophet who died and left his wife in debt the prophet said go and borrow vessels not oil to borrow means to plead from people just bring it and the bible says he filled it and he said go and sell it and now give you know pay off your debt and leave off the rest the first thing the prophet told the woman to do when you are blessed is pay off your debt because you can't live in peace when you have debt that was the prophet's recommendation are we together so I want to pray for you if you are in any kind of financial situation of debt whether personally as a family or corporately in the name of Jesus please believe this prophecy between now and December 2023 I prophesy upon you come out of that debt come out of that financial situation come out of that financial situation in the name of Jesus Christ how will it happen apostle very simple the ministry of men it, there is no magic as to how people come out of debt it is always the ministry of men God will send men disguised as systems disguised as relationships it is yours to now discern and be ready when it comes
you don't come out of death by superstition when prophecy is released as it was over samaria the next thing was men even if they are lepers they will be the ones to use to rescue samaria every time prophecy comes start paying attention to men they will come with business ideas they will come with superior projects they will come with their well wishes just to bail you out a show of kindness or they will come somebody can just bless you oh apostle i'm owing 30 million and god gives someone an instruction i will not give you money but i give you one of my properties as a gift you value that property and they say it's 80 million you are out of debt already it's up to you now let me tell you one of the major ways that god brings people out of debt is through the power of land and its resources because it is very difficult for somebody to come and give you one million but he can give you a slice of the earth and the bible says out of the earth comes increase it says the increase of the earth is for all he never said the increase of a company so if everywhere runs to you go to the earth for your portion the earth has a portion for all men this is a strategy i'm not i'm not foolish as you hear me talk to you the earth is a universal bailout system that god uses to bring men out of financial troubles the increase of the earth is for all it says that means if they reject you if you are in debt there's no guarantee that the increase in the bank you have a share there but this earth is a universal standpoint the moment you are in debt trust god to use the power of the earth and its fullness as a mystery to bail you out hmm. now in the name of jesus christ father let the power to prosper the engracing that can rest on men and women and program them for extraordinary success i declare by the privilege of this apostolic and prophetic mantle receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now be right right delivered from every financial captivity hear me what your father could not do what your mother could not do for some of you what has never been done before you i empower you by this anointing go and do it extraordinary results in business extraordinary results in ministry in the name of jesus christ listen many of you will come and stand here and begin to testify of strange financial doors in the name of Jesus Christ and by this anointing everybody mandated to help you especially in this month in this month of April leave May leave June we are talking April I don't know where they are but I can call them by prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ the one who gave power to men I declare this week that is coming I stand by this mantle I call for strange helpers strange helpers strange lifters in the name of Jesus Christ that by reason of this that you have heard some of you by God you will step into prepared blessings you will be sitting down someone will call you and give you a car call you and give you a house I'm telling you call you and give you a job he has trained you so his hands will not be restrained in blessing you there are some of you who are in ministry God will give people instructions and say they should come and hold your hands and see to it that you never go down again every family struggling financially whether to pay school fees to pay rent to complete building projects or maybe to fund projects that are ongoing in the name of Jesus this week may Ebenezer the helper of men may he arise and surprise you for in Jesus mighty name we pray I kneel and I bow before you by this apostolic and prophetic grace
Every force sitting on anyone's financial destiny right now in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead let that force be dislodged now be dislodged now be dislodged now master we have toiled all night let me speak to someone here let let the seasons of toiling walking like an elephant eating like an ant let it come to end in your life now let it come to end in your life now hear me everyone here who is in debt whether personal debt or business debt i prophesy by the god of heaven between now and the next three months by the road of the apostolic and the prophetic come out of that debt now come out of that debt now every business here that has refused to grow has refused to rise hear ye the word of the lord between now and the end of 2021 be 10 times better than you are hear me there are many of us here it's not like you are lacking food to eat but you keep recycling the same financial level recycling you can't break out of it some of you have been on building projects for close to 10 years to finish it and move your family is not there by the power of the prophetic i push you to the next level of your destiny i push you to the next level of your finances hear me i tell you fire is falling there are families here that love the lord with all their hearts but nobody has risen financially in that family for whatever reason if you belong to that family right now i'm speaking to you because the power of god is coming upon you i decree and declare anyone here who is part of any family where the circle is just poverty lack and hardship i declare may that cause be broken now may that cause be broken now every ministry here that is struggling financially following online you are a man of god your church your ministry is struggling financially up today and down tomorrow in the name of jesus christ come out of that shame and reproach now i want to pray for you the lord is ministering to me that there are people it's not like you are poor but all your resources are hanging everywhere you keep watching resources that are supposed to have come but it does not come wherever it is in the name of jesus i decree and declare i command those resources to come to you now come to you now come to you now hear me 
there are some of you you were part of the lifting of many people but they forgot you that is the reason why you are where you are it's not that you are lazy you've been part of many people's rising but now they've left you where you are in the name of jesus i pray the destiny helper assigned to wipe your tears hold your hands and lift you wherever they are this week i command them to appear before your destiny appear before your destiny all those trusting god for jobs trusting god to start businesses trusting god for any value adding structure in the name of jesus i declare by the power that raised christ from the dead beginning from this week let there be testimonies and anyone sitting on your glory your financial glory i overturn i overturn i overturn i overturn i overturn i overturn until you sit on your rightful place hear me there are many of you as you go to sleep tonight god will open up to you visions and he will tell you what to do believe me as you go to bed god will show you what to do hear me there are some of you here because of the urgency of the situation in your life a fish does not carry coin but when there is need to pay tax god can make even a fish to bring coin i pray for you from the most unexpected means may the resources to take away shame from your life may it appear in the name of jesus now hear me i speak over every sacrifice many of you are making profound sacrifices only god knows what you are doing individuals businesses ministries couple children young old organizations but i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead the same way fire came upon the sacrifice of elijah in the name of jesus may fire rest on your sacrifice <laughs> hear me for some of you what you sowed is for the next level of your promotion and i really mean what i'm saying for some of you what you sowed is for the next level of your political destiny some of you what you sowed is for the next level of your destiny whatever has died in your hand hear the word of the lord let it come back to life now hear me if you have never experienced an individual calling you to say i want to help you i release that mantle on you now i release that mantle on you now i release that mantle on you now I release that mantle on you now. Inside, outside, online. Receive that grace right now. Please hear me. Hear me. I am not praying for you. For someone to just come and help you once. I'm praying for someone who will build a system around your life. hallelujah please hear me if there is anyone who has victimized you financially either based on tribal sentiments based on religion based on political affiliation or whatever it is right now i lose those chains of you go forward 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 I want you to watch the marvelous testimonies of strange financial miracles you are going to be hearing in the name of jesus christ can i be honest with you 
for some of you you will be sitting in your home someone will bring the key to a house and say take i speak this by the unction of heaven for some of you will be sitting and someone will bring a car and say god instructed me to give you hear me for some of you someone will come and meet you and say god said i should raise your children till university now hear this the final prayer there is an anointing that comes upon a man that can attract opportunities that can attract people that can attract resources i taught you last week if you want to pick nails from the ground here you don't pick them one by one you pass a magnet around them and it will pick everything some of you that's what you are about to become right now hear me some of you your helpers are already in koinonia they are in this place right now now therefore as i have received from the fathers of faith this is a relay this grace was passed it is not something we invented as i have really as i've received from the fathers and by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic this grace that mysteriously attracts resources attracts men attracts opportunity in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god koinonia take that grace now let that grace come on your head now let that grace come on your business now take that grace now take that mantle now be blessed be blessed be blessed and hear me any power that fights your prosperity from today in the name of jesus that power goes down before your face and any man who says over his dead body for this prophetic word to come to pass may the ground open and swallow them may the ground open and swallow them every yoke every enchantment every activity of witchcraft negative patterns i break it now in the name of jesus christ go and return with testimonies in the name of jesus give jesus praise give jesus praise it's a new season if you were blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video thank you